What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over the most efficient way to level up your Pokemon in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. To anyone who has already played Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you're already very familiar with Blissey and Chansey and how great they were to level up. There were the special QR codes, you go to the, the secret base, you battle all the Blissey, you get a lot of experience real easy. This strategy is going to be like that, but better and more organic. Because in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they decided that they were going to make Chansey and Blissey wild encounters. Pairing that with the SOS method, you're going to be able to get yourself a lot of experience points very quickly. Chansey and Blissey appear at one single location in the entire game. And unfortunately, it is post-game. However, the Chansey and Blissey that you're going to be encountering are going to be very, very high levels. And because of that, well, maybe it's better that it's not early in the game. Granted, you could find some uh, some happenies much earlier in the game, yet they do not yield nearly as much experience points as Chansey and Blissey do. So once you become champion, make your way through to the Pony Plains. Then once you're at the Pony Plains, you see this big green old bush right here? This is going to be a wiggling bush. And before the wiggling bush, we should save our game. Also, I should probably go over some basics on SOS uh, mechanics a little bit. So three things impact a Pokemon calling for an ally Pokemon. One is its current HP. If its HP is critical, it's more likely to call for an ally Pokemon. The second thing is your Pokemon who's in battles ability. If it is pressure, unnerve, or intimidate, it will increase the likelihood of that Pokemon calling for additional Pokemon to help it. And then the third thing is an adrenaline orb. And this is different than Sun and Moon, because in Sun and Moon, an adrenaline orb wasn't necessary to get more Pokemon for an SOS chain. It was just encouraged. However, now only one additional Pokemon will be called. And if you want more additional Pokemon to show up, you do need an adrenaline orb. Adrenaline orbs in this game are available as soon as you get the Charizard ride pager. Some other things that you could do to maximize the amount of experience points that you're going to get. You can use the Rotolotto EXP boost, which uh, don't have one right now. That's a shame. And if you have it, you can use a Lucky Egg. You can actually get the Lucky Egg from Professor Kukuai at his lab after gaining 50 Pokemon in your Pokedex. Also, it's worth mentioning that if you want a Pokemon to grow more friendly, giving it a Soothe Bell before you start to get its uh, levels up is very helpful for that. So now that I have my Lucky Egg on my Pokemon that I want to get more experience, and now that I have the Soothe Bell on Pokemon that I want to grow friendlier, it's time for me to finally encounter this Pokemon. And on our first try, we get ourselves a Chansey. Now, there's only a 20% chance that it would have been a Chansey. Had a 50% chance on being a uh, Petalil or Cottony, depending on your version of the game. And then a 30% chance at it being Scyther. Uh, like I mentioned, the three things that impact the Pokemon's ability to call for additional Pokemon is popping an Adrenaline Orb. I always like to do it round one. And then next thing we're going to do is I'm going to false swipe it so it's down to 1 HP. Now it doesn't need to be down to 1 HP, anything below 20% HP and it's going to be considered HP critical. At that point, it's going to call for help. Now there's a chance when it calls for help, nothing's going to show up. Like right there. Nothing showed up. So now we have a turn to kill. Either I could swap in another Pokemon to try to get experience or you just go into your items and you try to use another Adrenaline Orb. When you go to use this Adrenaline Orb, it says it has no effect. And because of that, nothing's gonna happen. Also, it does not take one from your inventory. See, still have 16 Adrenaline Orbs. Also, real nice thing about this Chansey is this Chansey doesn't have any real damaging moves. It has Fling, Egg Bomb, Reflect, and there's a fourth one, it's not important. Second time in a row, it's called for help. Help did not appear. So we're just gonna go use another Adrenaline Orb. Oh, it's gonna do Heal Pulse. Oh, which will heal your Pokemon. So, <laughs> what do you really have to fear here? And boom, a Chansey appeared. Now, what we wanna do is knock out the next Chansey. Not the one that we already reduced its HP. This is gonna be the slot that we're going to be using for our 
experience. I have some Pokemon on my team. All of them are, are various levels, and the lower a Pokemon's level is, the more experience points it's going to getting. It's going to be getting for knocking out a higher level Pokemon, or with experience share on just being part of the team of one that knocked out a higher experience level Pokemon. Also, something that goes into the algorithm now for that is its HP. Because Chansey and Blissey have very, very high amounts of HP, that affects how much experience that they get as well. That's the reason you see this Magikarp getting up to 14, 15, finally gonna, gonna learn to move, 19. Oh, wow. <laughs> so in one Chansey, Magikarp went from level one to level 19, and he's ready to become a Gyarados, like a big boy. However, not all my Pokemon are ready for that quite yet. Chance is gonna call for help again. And another Chansey appeared. And guess what? Rinse, repeat, fight, aerial ace, hit the Chansey. Chansey is gonna be KO'd. Bye bye, Chansey. I am worried. Boldor is gonna gain some more levels. Uh, it just occurred to me that Boldor doesn't evolve from leveling up. It evolves from being traded, so I don't know why I put it on my, on my team. So, yeah, great. I lied. I know why I put him on my team. I put him on my team because I already recorded this entire video. However, everything was picking up the wrong microphone, so it was using the webcam mic. Thanks, webcam mic. And because of that, everything sounded horrible. So I'm redoing the video for you guys because you guys deserve better audio than that. You guys wouldn't like the video if it sounded like this. Another Chansey. Now, while this Chansey is calling other Pokemon to come into play, there's only two Pokemon it could be, it's Chansey and Blissey. Chansey has an 80% chance of answering the call, and Blissey has a 20% chance. The Blissey will gain you more experience points, however, don't be discouraged on the fact that you're not getting Blisseys. You're getting Chanseys, and there, there are plenty of experience points. Blissey. Now, something important to note here is, if you get excited and you want this Blissey to be on the playing field, don't expect any more Pokemon to show up. Only Chansey is programmed to call other Pokemon. If Blissey is going to be there, Blissey is not going to call other Pokemon. Now, my Absol is level 100, which is the optimal thing if you're going to do a whole bunch of other Pokemon using the experience share to go up in level, because your level 100 does not take any experience points. Oh my god, this Magikarp is going to be such a high level by the time I'm done with this video. Going to be a Gyarados with the worst moves at the end of the battle. So, one of the only things you really gotta look out for here is if the Chansey that gets called into battle starts using Heal Pulse, it'll heal the Chansey that you got its HP down on. In which case, it might not be a bad time to just switch which Chansey you're gonna be knocking out anyways. You don't want them to run out of power points at a PP. So, I've already got a whole bunch of experience for this battle. It's time for me to, uh, knock out this Chansey. And just because I have NK in the party, I actually need to hold my 3DS upside down so that it can gain experience points and evolve. I don't, I don't know why that's a thing, but that's a thing. <laughs> I love that that's a thing. <laughs> How great is that? That's so funny. It really is. So from that battle against those just Ch Chansey and Blissey, I had my Bulldor was level 29, is now level 38, went up 9 levels. Rufflet was level 26, is now 36, went up 10 levels. NK was level 27, is now 36, went up 9 levels and evolved to Malamar. Magikarp was level 1, is now 32, and is now a proud Gyarados with horrible moves. And Type Null even gained himself a level. Level and a half, if I do say so myself. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is currently the most effective way to level up Pokemon in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Now, if you have a better strategy or a strategy that you could do before post game, I'd love to hear about it. Leave it in the comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.